boxy looks today. It was supposed to come here on Thursday, but it wasn't delivered, so I picked it up at the post office today. And this is what it looks like. Hi everyone, um, welcome back. So I'm jumping on here again. I know I was just showing you the unboxing, but I didn't really go in too deep um, about the product. So this time I'm gonna kind of show you a little more about the stuff that I got in my boxy looks. And um, this is what it looks like, all right. So the boxy looks comes every three months. So it comes in March, I think it's gonna be March. September, December. I might have missed one, but I'll figure it out later. So the Boxy Boxy Lux comes every three months, and it's an additional $28.99 apart from the $21 from the regular Boxy Charm subscription. And it's a bigger box compared to the smaller one because it brings more stuff and it brings bigger items. So I'm gonna pull out the card, and the theme was this the Sea Sun. And the products are listed here in this big card. As you can see, it's very, very big. So I'm gonna go through the prices as I pull out each item. So this is the PYT hair straightener. Um, last time I didn't open it, but this is what it looks like. It's very small. It comes in this little pouch. And I was very happy because I got the pink one and I love pink. So, I mean, my hair is like mid-length. It's not very long, it's not very short. So I don't see me using this to straighten my entire hair, but maybe like to do the, the baby hairs because I struggle a lot with that. I have frizzy hair, so the baby hairs is always a problem for me. So I thought this would be good. The next thing we have is the little Glam AF bag. And like I said, I might use the bag because it's pretty cute but I'm probably not gonna use the charger because, oh, it's pretty cute. It says Crimes of Beauty. But apparently I've heard people say bad things about it, so I don't know. But the bag is pretty cute. It has a separate compartment too. So I also got the Violet Boss Pro Eyeshadows HD and the name is called My Holy Grail. And it's very nice, neutral colors. Very warm toned. Um, I like these right here, the reds and the pinks. And it's hard to catch, but these right here have sort of like a pinkish tone to it. And this light one up here. And the prices of those three items, which I forgot. So the PYT hair straightener is worth $75. The Violet Boss palette is worth $45 and the Crimes of Beauty wristlet is worth $22. So moving on, we have this Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, which like I said, I was very, I was very excited about because I was looking for sort of like a collagen or anti-aging mask. Ooh. Oh, it's very smooth and moisturizing. It doesn't smell like anything or I mean it has like a soft scent, which is not bad. That one is worth $89. Then we have this Wanderlust Dux Dust to Dawn Blush and Highlight Palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So I like this middle one, it's very nice. I doubt I can use any of those for a highlight because they're pretty dark. 
but maybe for like a bronzer with shimmer something like that or maybe even for eyeshadow because the pan size is even a little kind of small so the next two items are this grande mascara which I'm not gonna open I really like the packaging it looks very nice but I have other mascaras that I prefer so probably won't use that and that's worth $25 and then this tart tardiest lip paint shimmering lip paint which I'm not gonna try it because I know I'm not gonna use it I've heard other videos saying that it's like a gloss this is what mine looks like then there's this sponge gel sponge bath I'm still debating on this because I don't don't normally use things like this but it looks very cool um, but that's worth $20 and finally, one of the things that I was most expecting, this box of Luxie brushes. So it has the 680 brush. It's a pro precision brush. This is the 522 tapered highlight, which I have this brush already. the round top blender this one feels nice this one is the flat definer and the tapered blending brush I also have this one brow and lash the eye shading brush this one looks interesting I don't think I have a shadow like this a brush like this but it would be good for shadows and the lip brush the Luxie 160 which I think somebody's used it for like concealer so maybe I could use it for that so those were all the items in my boxy Lux, and after doing the total of all the items everything comes out to 387 I think this really affects the price because this, this itself was $89. Now that we got my boxy Lux out of the way, I want to show you my Ulta haul that I got. I had I had um, enough points, I had over 2,000 points so I could redeem $125 worth of items. So I'm going to show you everything that I got. I got this. Vegas Nay eyelash adhesive I don't push usually wear lashes like that so much but um you know for whenever I do try it I wanted to have something that works and those um, were $5.99 and I got them for $1.16 after using my points and a 20% off coupon the next thing I got was this Clinique acne solutions foundation this is one of the first foundations that I had but the one that I had is way too light for me so I wanted to try a darker one I still haven't tried it yet but I don't even know this still even looks lighter than the other one that I had and it's supposed to be a darker shade but that one is originally $29 and I got it for $5.63 the next thing I got was this Too Faced Born This Way foundation which is the hit and I got it in natural beige um, it's a very popular foundation and I got a little sample of it when I bought something from Ulta and I wanted to try like the full size one because the, the sample wasn't really my shape so I got this one I already wore it twice and I really like the way it feels it lasts all day and it makes my skin very smooth so the original price of that is $39 and I got it for $7.57 Um, I got this tart tardiest lip paint this one I got because the girl that was helping myself and my aunt she was wearing this one and it's just a nude color it looked really pretty and I don't have too many nude nude um, lipsticks the original price of that one is $20 and I got it for $3.88 then I got this Kylie Jenner lip kit this one I haven't tried it yet I did try the Tarte lip paint. I really like how it looks. 
Um, this kit comes with the liner and it comes with the lippy. I like these coral colors like this. So, you know, I wanted to try it. This one actually, my aunt got it for me. I got this dose of colors liquid lipstick in the shade Old Flame. This is the shade. In fact, let me swatch. So it's like a brown coral color. It's hard to see because of the shadow. Let me swatch the tart one. So they're both like nudes. Um, the dose of colors was worth $18 and I got it for $3.50. I got this Urban Decay the Slick Mattifying Powder because my face is very oily and you know I want something that I can touch up during the day and um, so it's just like translucent white powder. That one is worth $34 and I got it for $6.50. I also got this Kylie Jenner lipstick in the shade Goals. It's like a dark red, dark pink ish. And that one is worth. $16 and I got it for $3.11 and then I also got this Morph Morphe buffing brush deluxe definition buffer brush the M444 brush brush and this one is worth $13 and I got it for $2.53 I got this one because I wanted to try like a different brush for my foundation but I mean you could use this for contour as well it's very hard. I haven't tried it yet, but we'll see how I like it. So, let's see. That was my Ulta haul. In total, my Ulta purchase came out to $47.45, which is my cash payment. And I used 2350 points. And then I also got this brush from Marshalls. This is the Brush Crush Foundation Brush from Real Techniques. And that was on sale for $5.99. And I also got this Becca Aqua Luminous Primer. And that was on sale for $12.99 at Marshalls. I had got I had look, been looking for this one at another Marshalls, but they never had my shade. And then this one I tried it and it seems to match pretty well. I haven't tried it yet, but you know, hopefully it does come out too good. Also at Charlotte Russe, I know I had already um, lash glue but I got this kit from Ardell which brings the lash glue I was I wanted to get this I was gonna pick it up at Ulta but it was ten dollars and I didn't want to pay so much for that but this set was cheaper it brings two sets of lashes the glue and the applicator and it only cost um, $7.99 so I picked that up so that was my haul from Boxylux and Ulta and those other stores. I hope you guys enjoyed my video today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!